Please listen carefully. If you like making profits, this is the video for you. I'm on fire right now, predicting these markets, giving it all out in advance. And here I am once again to go through the price action with you, let you understand the recent context, the current trades, and exactly what we are looking for next. What is upcoming? With this beautiful market, I do want to touch on some altcoins. Okay, I have recently taken some new altcoin longs, and I, of course, want to start off with Bitcoin. So, yeah, bit of alts, bit of Bitcoin. What more could you want? Let's go straight into the action. So, uh, yeah, what a video yesterday, right? I made a video really simply put. I have just long Bitcoin looking for higher prices to come. That's why we were still down here around $64,000 today. We trade once again at $67,000. It has been an epic rise, right? Bitcoin hit the daily and I have just longed that dip. Okay, I want to explain. I'm going to probably take about five minutes because there is a lot. There is a lot for me to cover here to teach you. So you can use the theory that I've been using over the past day uh, in your own trades, okay? So yeah, it's a little bit of a recap, but there's a lot to learn here. So starting off with how we predicted it to come down to the daily first of all, okay? So this is a quick 10 second clip that I wanna remind you of, okay? The repetition is useful. So let's just remind how we were looking for this daily and the, the plan was in the first place. So with the daily just below it for a little bit of extra support should we get a larger wick so what i would be looking at in terms of what i feel is the highest probability would be for this local rise for a continuation to the downside drop okay at this drop i think is a very big level of support where of course we can look once again to buy the dip very key level of support Okay, so obviously the plan uh, a few days ago, which I laid out to you all on YouTube, was the local rise to the upside before a big drop to the downside, the lower level being the daily, where we will simply look to buy the dip. Okay, price came down to the lower level of the daily. Each step of the way, it followed along that plan, right? We got the local rise, we got the drop, and we ended on this daily. And now, of course, our we're at that daily, I made the video yesterday really clearly saying, you know, we've hit the daily, I've longed the dip, okay? And now, the, so, you know, to, to teach you educationally here, the, the theory behind everything that's going on here is overall, we're in an uptrend. Overall, we're in an uptrend. And I knew that the highest probability at this point in time, after losing the POC, the rejection off of this 70, uh, 67, 500 zone was for me a very, very key level of resistance. Okay, we formed that little bit of the <laughs> HNS pattern. And really simply, this was like a back test of the resistance to hold the local market structure with the lower lows and lower highs, right? So we had this lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. This was our lower high. And we got the bigger drop to the downside. And this big drop to the downside was to overall hold another higher low, higher low, higher lows into what is here, another higher low. And now we've got this bump back up. So the, the plan is, while we were looking for this rise to drop, overall, it's a, it's a drop where we're looking to buy the dip. That was always the plan. So when we came down to this support yesterday, you know, there's no hindsight here. <laughs> I gave you the information out on YouTube before the pump. You know, I was buying that dip. And I mentioned in the video, I want to compound. Why? Because I would like to see that low taken one more time. Watch the video again if you haven't already. I want to just play to you this clip from the uh, daily yes, uh, stream that I made yesterday. And this is gonna be so insightful for you because I'm gonna go over the order flow, okay? So please listen carefully if you like to learn about order flow. Mentioned in the daily morning update, I really would like to see the lows taken out here just to reduce some of this open interest that we saw. Look at this, like 10 million, another 10 million, like 21 million in these candles. Yeah, I, I would like to see us take the lows here. This would kind of be my preferred scenario. Um, into a lower term time frame. Yeah, this would be my preferred scenario right now. Uh, something along the lines of make its way down. Oops, excuse me. Make its way down. Take out the lows, and at that point, all this open interest of these longs closes down. So you know you'd want to see big decreases in open interest. Okay, see all these longs getting stopped out, and even better. If that open interest increase happens down here and it's short, <laughs> that's an even better scenario. So really simply, I'd be looking for that um, for the next like major long trade. Uh, would be my preferred scenario just to take out those longs that we saw open around uh, 
So, yeah, you heard me talking through there, the team. Session, right? I yeah, wanted to see during, during New, New York, York session, session to take out the London session longs. To take out the London session longs during New York session. And I was talking them through the big open interest increase that we've seen here. And best case scenario is that we actually see an open interest increase upon taking out this low, okay, with shorts opening. So the order flow here is a massive, massive factor towards my trading decision. We've hit the daily, but I want to see the low taken one more time. Why? Because the order flow is not what I classed as perfect. Why? And this is where it really is thinking like a market maker, simply put. We saw 20 million new longs open down here, okay, in that order flow. 20 million new longs open. And my thought process is, okay, I'm not going to get aggressive on the longs. I really want to see us take it one more time. Why? To flush out those early longs. And again, this is where a lot of people would see those longs at support and think, well, I'm going to buy. I'm seeing those longs at support. I'm thinking I want to take the low one more time. And I'd love to see us take that low with an open interest increase of new shorts. And that is honestly exactly what happened next. And it all lined up perfectly. Okay, so we got the drop to the downside and those massive longs getting stopped out before any rise. So that was step number one. We saw the drop. And this is what we call confluence. At the same time, we saw uh, the ES, stock market S&P 500 uh, e-mini futures, right? Uh, coming down like clockwork to fill the gap. Okay, so we were seeing the gap fill. And then this is what happens. At the very low, 6.3 million new shorts open. This candle actually ended up coming above 64K with 3 million negative delta. Okay, it's obviously changing live in the time. So we had around 10 million of shorts open at the low. And that is exactly what we laid out. First of all, we took the low. We saw the open interest increases with new shorts opening at the low. It was... It was perfect. And then live in the time, I'm telling my team I've compounded the long trade, right? I've just taken a, a new long, essentially. I was already in a long from lower. So I doubled my position size, doubled down on my position size. And then I have added to that greatly now. Why? Because it all lined up with the order flow. We're at support, okay? We're seeing the confluence with the stock market. And Bitcoin is now forming the fake out of the low that we've been planning for for the past few hours. It's, of course, happening, have a guess, during the initial balance of New York Open. Just you love technical analysis. And if you love trading as much as me, this was just music to my ears. And it was just lining up so perfectly. You know, the greater markets coming together, legacy coming together. You know, we're seeing the... the um, gap fill on the stock market. We're seeing Bitcoin coming down, faking out that low with the open interest increase. Okay, exactly what we've planned for and what we wanted to see, right? So, um, you know, gap fill on the ES, BTC trapping shorts at the low. That's my kind of long trade. That's what we wanted to see. And well, of course, this call worked out very nicely indeed as we bring it forwards when you clearly see where we are now. And so for the past few days, we predicted absolutely correctly the rise for the drop, the rise here, for the drop and then the absolute low for taking out that low before the big rise to the upside we took at this low before where we are at 67,000 once again so um yeah I, I wanted to show you that because there is a lot you can learn if you really just in you know digest the information how we have been reading the order flow how we've been following the market structure understanding when the highly probability probability is of a drop to the downside but we're not looking for those full-blown reversals right we're looking to buy the dip at support and then when we come down to support we're remaining patient because of what we're seeing in the order flow for that final dip to the downside and that's exactly what's happened right a lot of people will say trading is gambling I'm showing you in front of your eyes, I think, truly, that this, this is not gambling. There is a true method behind the trades here. We've got a very well thought out process. We're taking extremely high probability trades. You've seen the win rate on this conservative account, right? Let me let me show you. You've seen the win rate for yourselves on this account. You know, we are going for uh, now, of course, over literally 100% win rate. So da -da 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 -da, bringing it back. 100% win rate on this account. And this account now, of course, is in two new trades that I'm in right now, which is going to be sat in another one thousand, you know, one thousand seven hundred, eight hundred dollars of profit. Okay, this was a flocky and pepe long that I took. And I'm going to show you after I finish this Bitcoin analysis. But I mean, the, the, it's in front of your eyes each step of the way. Uh, full transparency and 
yeah what, what, what can i say it's it's it is very nice um so i'm really hope that i'm helping people i was thinking yesterday i was thinking how have I, how have i got so little subscribers and these videos are getting like very little views it's like i'm giving out so much alpha information but this is the thing this algorithm doesn't want to push this content because truly this is the content that's helping people this is what people will use to succeed and guess what the algorithm doesn't want people succeeding they don't want them doing well they want you stuck watching these kind of waste of time videos this is content that can truly help you succeed in life and make a massive bankroll and well, i'm just happy to be here whether it's for one or a hundred people at the end of the day but I feel we're on fire right now with a trade. So what are we looking at next? And of course, it's been a lovely, lovely rise to the upside, actually going through resistances like butter. OK, so here we are once again at around 67, 100. You all know, I hope. Anyway, if you've been paying attention for me, there's a key level of 67, 500, 67, 500. OK, we are ever so slightly below that. We missed it by a few dollars here. OK, so what can we be looking at? This is I want to emphasize this is intraday scalp trades okay so this is for the quick traders out there but we do have this lower term time frame range to be trading okay so really simply within this range what do we look for again this is not swing trades um but for the scalp traders what do we look for well we have the range high and we have 67500 just above that range high okay so at some point we're going to be forming the range low and what we can look for is this to do one of two things as always trade the reaction make its way to above range high and then here we will look for the order flow do we get, for example, trapped longs with a move above, back down below? Well, then we look for that short trade to trade it back down. Or do we alternatively break out here? We actually get a nice positive breakout and continuation to the upside. Again, myself as a trader, I cannot say what's going to happen at that level. Why? Because I'm trading the probabilities and the information of the data when we hit that level, if we hit that level, of course. It's that, that 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 is the process. That's how we get into these trades. It's not about saying this is going to happen. It's about being prepared for a bullish and a bearish scenario. And then when the level hits that you're prepared for, read the order flow. OK, read the order flow, make an informed decision of that's the type of reaction that I want to see. That's what's going to be activating the long. So the same scenario here is that's what would be activating the short if we, if we get the bearish reaction there. If we don't, then perfect we can be looking back up really you know we have massive targets towards seventy thousand dollars right little bit of resistance around 68 200 so there are um yeah it's just it's honestly it's just all about making informed decisions and i think bitcoin we can be looking for you know this initial range to be trading and in the meantime there are a lot of juicy juicy altcoins to be trading so yesterday i actually talked about i done a dedicated altcoin stream this was the altcoin update Went through a lot of different alts, Jasmine, AVAX, Pepe, ING, Kitty, all these different random coins. I went through them all yesterday. And two of the coins I went through were Pepe and Flocky coin. And really simply, Pepe was a fake out of the range low. So this was our range low. This was the fake out of the range low for a long trade. Pretty simple stuff. And Flocky was a really nice one where I actually went through this trade setup, which was looking for a left shoulder head we want to see the right shoulder form and i said once again in the stream i don't think this is the low we can get the low forming along with bitcoin one more move to the downside this is where we get the fake out of the point of control and these lows to then rise to form the right shoulder okay so that was the plan this is how it played out we got again the fake out of the low and this for me was enough for these long trades so you can see I've got a Flocky and Pepe long. That's so around one thousand to eight nine hundred dollars of profit in in simply one one day, less than a day. This is all like twelve hours. You know, pretty much made two thousand dollars while asleep, and that's just from having the plan. Having then the confidence to trade the plan, okay, and understand it just requires now. You know confident trip plan the trade trade the plan right it's it's all been laid out it's coming to fruition we're seeing what we wanted to see on bitcoin okay bitcoin's taking the lows it's getting the rise we've now seen the same happen on and this happened by the way i got into these longs while bitcoin back tested the vwap like you had a ultra nice opportunity here this was the lower term time frame range that we were trading yesterday all right there was the fake out well look at this opportunity that is a back test of the channel on the VWAP, like this is such a simple, simple trade setup. Breakout, back test on the VWAP, 
We'll look at the reaction, massive pump to the upside. But I mean it, like what we what we teach at Chart Champions, th this is honestly just like clockwork. This is what you expect. What is what you expect is what is happening. Okay. The predictions I'm making, the trades I'm taking, you can do the same. I know you can do the same because it's exactly how I'm trading here is exactly how I've taught everybody in my group to trade, right? Come across to the money shots, okay? People out here are making epic profits, right? They are doing very nice trades from the longs to the shorts. Each step of the way, we can trade it up, we can trade it down. You know, th this is what we teach, this is what we do. A lot of people making very, very nice profits, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, for me, this was just a quick update to show you the rise. And I really wanted to use this one more as an educational video to explain about the order flow, to get you into the brain, because I do think it's such a key topic that, you know, a lot of people struggle with the order flow. But I'm telling you, that is what makes the difference. OK, it really does make the difference. It can turn you from an average trader or even a bad trader, right? <laughs> to be fair, it can turn you from a bad trader to a very good trader, getting that knowledge and understanding of order flow. Um, I do think it's very important, okay? And I understand it's a difficult subject. It takes time and experience. It's not something you're going to pick up straight away, okay? Even while watching the videos, you're not going to learn it instantly. You do need to practice. You do need to take time, okay? And the more that you, tr the more that you experience it yourself, the more that you watch me trading with it every day, the more it's going to slowly start to click. And I'm telling you, it is the secret. And I'm not, and I, I, I am saying you that it is hard. And that is why the majority of people will not use it and they will give up on it because it is simply hard. It does take time to learn. But if there's anything that I can show you, it is that it, it pays off by learning it. Okay. <laughs> it pays off by learning it. And his account is on a hundred percent win rate. 100% win rate, okay? Um, and that, that's not by luck. You know, you don't get 100% win rate after 30 trades via luck, via, by, via skill and having a real good connection and understanding with the market. So, um, yeah, this is what I teach. This is what we give, okay? So I'm obviously giving out really nice trade setups over here on YouTube for you all. If you, you know, I'm giving out a lot for free here on YouTube. So you can just imagine the type of information and the trade setups that you get within the group. Of course, it's going to be better. Um, so yeah, I will just say that if you've enjoyed this, hit that like button, share these videos with your friends, with your family. You know, these are videos that can absolutely help you, okay? Um, all you need to do is pay attention and listen, and I am here for you. So if you want to see more, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. If you've enjoyed these predictions, if you've enjoyed this walkthrough, more of an educational style, this one, then smash that like button, and I will see you again next week. But if you want to see me first, well, of course, I have another Champions live stream uh, this week on the website. So yeah, everything... Uh Everything's going really well. I hope that you are okay. I hope that you also made some web lovely profits with this over the past few days with the calls. So, um, yeah, I will end with this final words so that chart champions, although we are uh, giving out some trades, right? At the end of the day, we are not a signals group, okay? So please don't join with the expectation of signals. These are just added extras occasionally like we're not a signals group we are focused on the education teaching you right where's no financial advice in any of our videos so you do have to understand we are here to help we're here to educate and um yeah that's our mission that's our goal so yeah if you want to do that if you want to better your life via trading this is the place to be i hope you can see that with the information that i'm giving you daily here so uh cheers everybody hope you've enjoyed and that is me signing out thank you ever so much and for the next trade update, of course, I will give that first inside of the Champions Group. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, Anne. Goodbye.